In this exercise, we calculate the flux of the vector field capital F, whose components are 2x, 4x, and minus 5z squared, away from the origin, through the portion of the plane z equals 6 minus 3x minus 2y in the first octet. One can easily check that the x-intercept is equal to 2, the y-intercept is equal to 3, and the z-intercept is equal to 6. Using these intercepts, we are able to generate the trace of the plane on each of the coordinate planes. Since we are determining the flux that is supposed to be pointing away from the origin, which is behind the plane, there will be an upward component to the normal vector that we are supposed to use. First, let us write down the integral for the flux. The upward flux is given by the integral over the triangular part of the plane, which we call capital D. Later, when we are ready to write down the limits of integration, we will define capital D more precisely using inequalities. The integrand for the flux integral is given by the vector function capital F dotted with a normal vector. To determine this normal vector, we use the fact that z is equal to this expression. We can think of z as equal to lowercase f of xy. We can obtain the normal vector from this definition. The normal vector is the vector given by three components. The first component is minus z sub x, which is the partial derivative of z with respect to x. The second component is minus z sub y, the partial derivative of z with respect to y. The third component is simply equal to 1. Because we already have z in terms of x and y, we can attempt to set up the integrals so that we integrate with respect to x and with respect to y. It is quite typical to put plus or minus in front of this integral. We decide on the sign that we are to use based on the nature of the flux that we are to calculate. Because this is an upward flux based on the conditions that we are given in the problem, the normal vector that we should use should be pointing upwards. We determine this by taking a look at the third component of the normal vector. It is positive 1, which indicates that this is an upward pointing normal. As such, we use the positive sign for the integral. All we have to do now is fill in the blanks. The partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to minus 3. The partial derivative of z with respect to y is equal to minus 2. Taking the dot product of capital F with our normal vector, 2x times positive 3 is equal to 6x, 4x times positive 2 is equal to 8x. Minus 5z squared times 1 is minus 5z squared. Inside the integral, we will combine 6x and 8x. Also, we will have to replace z by what it is in terms of x and y, since we are integrating with respect to x and y. And so the integrand is 14x minus 5 times the square of 6 minus 3x minus 2y. Finally, to set the limits of integration, we determine the inequalities that precisely define the surface D. We observe that the surface D sits over this triangular region on the xy plane. And so the region D is bounded by the trace on the xy plane. The equation of the trace is y equals minus 3x over 2 plus 2. Along with this trace, the x and y axes form part of the boundary of this region of integration. Examining the region of integration, we observe that the y values go from y equals 0 on the x-axis 
all the way up to the line y equals minus 3x over 2 plus 2. And so 0 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to minus 3x over 2 plus 2. And for x, we take the smallest and biggest values of x within the region. We see that x goes from 0 to 2. Because of the way that we've written out the inequalities for x and y, we switch the order of integration so that the element of area is not going to be dx dy, but rather dy dx. We integrate with respect to y first. The outer integral now corresponds to integration with respect to x, and so the limits of integration will be x equals 0 to x equals 2. The integration with respect to y goes from y equals 0 to y equals minus 3x over 2 plus 2. Then we have the integrand. And finally, the element of area dy dx. As an integration exercise, the viewer can check that the value of this integral is minus 230 over 3. 